of Trinity 15, Saturday, the righteous judgment of the Lord. And you, Solomon, my son, know the God of your father and serve him with a whole heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the intent of the thoughts. First Chronicles 28, verse 9a. Dear Redeemed, David reminds his son and us that God not only knows our deeds, words, and thoughts, but goes deeper, perceiving the heart and the intent. Appearances seldom tell the story. Therefore, Jesus says, Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. John 7, verse 24. As you prepare for tomorrow and the divine service, ponder what's really behind each of the following four situations. What's your judgment regarding each situation? 1. Jesus states that no one has kept the law, including the very religious-looking Pharisees, scribes, and Sadducees. 2. Jesus states that there are those who seek to kill him. The people don't perceive any threat to him, and therefore declare that Jesus is demon-possessed. 3. The Pharisees did not consider the Sabbath law to be broken when a baby was circumcised on the Sabbath day, but were offended and outraged when Jesus healed a man on the Sabbath day. 4. A man gets up on Sunday morning and goes to work. At his place of vocation, the other people there confess their sins and, for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of Jesus Christ, plead God's mercy and pardon. The man, on the basis of his call as pastor and Jesus' command, forgives them all of their sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So, dearly beloved, concerning the four situations just read, 1. Have you broken God's law? 2. Were there some people seeking to kill Jesus? 3. Were the religious leaders hypocritical? 4. Are you forgiven of all your sins? Prayer O Lord Jesus, I have broken your holy law and deserve your temporal and eternal condemnation. But you have stated that you do not desire the death of anyone, but that each one repent and live forever. You have suffered for me and died in my stead. Therefore, I am forgiven, and this is your righteous judgment. What a humbling joy! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Grant me your Holy Spirit and word that my outward acts of service and my words spoken may be from a whole heart and a willing mind. Amen. Hymn number 495, stanzas 3, 5, and 7. My God and shield, now let thy power be unto me a mighty tower, whence bravely I defend me against the foes that round me close, O Lord, assistance lend me. The world for me has falsely set, full many a secret snare and net, dark lies and sore temptations. Lord, hear my prayers, and break these snares and hellish machinations. All glory, praise, and majesty to Father, Son, and Spirit be, our God forever glorious, in whose grace we'll run our race till we depart victorious.